Good morning, Pisceans. Hello, hello, hello. Happy Monday morning. This is still last week's reading because I'm in the weeds. You will have this week's reading coming out in a few days, but you know what? I hope you guys are just having a great Monday regardless. Grab your favorite adult beverage. This is an extended read. Get comfy and let's do this. Tarot the Mystical Moments for the main deck. Um, I have Light Sears Tarot here for the clarifying deck and the links to these decks can be found down below in the description box. Emperor energy coming in, Aries, take charge, powerhouse, chariot reverse, making a strong, I feel like somebody's making a strong decision to let something go that really probably needs to be let go of. So it's not working, it's holding someone back, and it's saying I'm ready to look forward. I love the emperor. All right, sun, moon, rising, Venus, Pisces, if you are, Pi I split the deck and there you are. There you are, adorable Pisces. And look at the emperor peeking out again. All right, if you are a Pisces, know a Pisces, feel like being a Pisces, Pisceans, I'm glad you're here. You could be a Pisces and this resonates. You could be dealing with a Pisces. It could resonate as the main story and Pisces can be the cross watcher. This reading could be about you or for you. Take it as it resonates. Collect the messages from my lovely Pisceans, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. All right, Pisces, you feel good. You feel good. All right, what is the energy for Pisces they need to be aware of? What is the energy for the Pisceans they need to be aware of? Judgment reverse. Judgment reverse is when you know something needs to go, but you're having a hard time letting it go. It's like this ongoing situation. What's influencing the judgment reverse? That is a novella. All these cards that fell out, but let's go with it. World reverse. Yeah, look at those two huge hitters. Devil reverse. Woof. Three big majors. Five of pentacles reverse. I do like that reversal. Getting your groove back. Magician reverse. And the two of wands reverse. That two, it's funny with all these majors, and you got all reversals, right? Boom, boom, boom. Although the, I always, when you get a five of pentacles reverse, that is a very positive connotation, actually. But, and a two of wands reverse is finally making a decision. Now, when you look at the world, see how she holds on to the world, but you know, looking at the moon, hoping, hoping, waiting, but she's got all the answers in her hand. With the two of wands reverse, I actually feel like it's actually choosing to move forward. If you, if you look at it that way, instead of waiting on an answer, although I do feel like there is some type of answer coming down the pipes, but the longer somebody sits in this energy, the harder it is. It's just, this is difficult energy right here. And if you're a Pisces tickling each other's fancies and living the 10 of cups, 10 of pentacles way of life, this may not be your reading. Maybe I feel like this is the reading for somebody who wants to get to that place. Reason for the reading, watch it be the 10 of cups and the 10 of pentacles, that'd be hysterical. Reason for the reading for my lovely Pisceans, eight of pentacles reverse. I really get acceptance. I do. This, the longer something is held out, the harder it is to be carry on. It's, it, this feels seriously very toxic. It feels very toxic. I feel like somebody's stuck in place. What's in the past? The tower reverse. Now look at that. See, somebody's holding on somebody let it fall that's the feeling here holding on to something that really needs to be let go of which kind of looks like a judgment reverse because she's already outgrown this she is the problem she's be the problem has uh festered for so long it's infected her but yet she's still holding out hope that she could fit into this building but you can't so it's like a reversal here is i feel like somebody actually did a pisces a flip favor by letting go. Now, Pisces, you could have let go, and this could be more about you, that somebody is finally giving up hope that this is going to work out. What's on your mind? Hallelujah, the fool, a brand new beginning, and a huge lot of majors. This is going to be a very awakening week for somebody. Near future, Ten of Cups. I said, this is, and there you are. This is where you want to be. And there you are. And there you shall be. How do you currently see yourself though? Oh, I love it. High Priestess Reverse is, 
I feel like you're no longer holding yourself back. So she's behind the curtain, but holding everything in, waiting, kind of that 201s, waiting on an answer, waiting on someone else to make a decision. High Priestess reverses living your life out loud. And honestly, for some of you, you, oh, my nose is really itching. You might be giving somebody the walking papers. You might be freeing somebody that's been holding on to you or vice versa. And you might be saying, okay, I'm ready for this new beginning because this isn't working for me anymore. How do you current, or I'm sorry, what's the energy coming in Pisces doesn't see coming? Hermit reverse, Virgo energy. Hermit reverse is finding something out and ready to get back into life. Much like this five of pentacles reverse. I'm coming out. That's what that vibe is, you know, especially with this too. I think you're ready to start living again. What are in your emotions? Nine of Swords, Gemini. Give me one more card. That's a current energy right there. Because I feel like it's, there's this waiting and stress and tense. Nine of Swords, I mean, look at this. Who wouldn't be in a Nine of Swords? It's This is difficult energy. And it just feels like a very stuck, ongoing, horrible energy, honestly, that you've been dealing with. What are in Pisces emotions currently? In the five of wands. Conflict, feeling like somebody's manipulating you. And I almost feel like holding on is so much harder. Sometimes the best thing you can do is just let go. What is the outcome? Oh, you do have two tens. Ten of cups, ten of pentacles. Ten of pentacles, reverse six of cups. Oh, you got three tens. Cycles big time coming to an end. Ten of wands, Sagittarius, six of cups, reverse. And it just feels like somebody is not letting go of maybe you thought something would be easier or getting out of something. It hasn't been. But a Ten of Pentacles reverse is something is finally coming to an end. It is. I feel like the it's like War of the Roses and the war is finally uh, finding its resolution. There's definitely a resolution in this reading. What is this judgment reverse center of the reading? Judgment reverse center of the reading here. Yep. When I split the deck, it was Wheel of Fortune and the Five of Pentacles reverse. That makes sense. It's time to move. Let this go. Judgment reverse center of the reading. And the Ace of Pentacles reverse. And so it just feels like somebody offered you something once upon a time and it kind of took it back. And maybe there's just push, pull, push, pull, push, pull. And it's just not coming together the way you probably hoped or thought it would be. Like if this is a divorce situation, it's like this ongoing situation because it's like two parties cannot come to a equal and fair resolution for who, whoever deems fair on both sides. So it just feels like this two very very either one person is f fully letting go and the other person just won't let go or i kind of get the sense of two people that just are saying you know what yeah it, it's it's weird because i feel like they both want the same thing but there's too much noise there's too much noise you know a lot of times there can be an argument like over money and different things like that but I don't even know if it's really about money. I just think it's about why or a, a heartfelt apology or to see somebody as human and say, you know what, you really hurt me, you know, because people will use money against another person or children against another person. But this feels like somebody just says, I want you to see how hurt I am and want you to acknowledge it. And that's what this is kind of feeling like. Tell me about this devil reverse. That That is the most intriguing. Magician reverse and the devil reverse. If somebody honestly probably feels like they're dating or dealing with Satan themselves. What is that about? Look at that. Yeah, Ace of Swords reverse and the King of Wands. Pisces, this might be about you. Like some of you Pisces are in this situation. But King of Wands and Ace of Swords reverse, it's kind of like, how dare you hurt me and go on to live your best life? So I'm going to hurt you where it hurts through your pocketbook or some people might be using their kids or trying to get one thing over the other person. This King of Wands is why, because somebody is really hurt in this and somebody feels like 
they're still stuck where they were left behind. But I actually want to go up here first. The fool is on your mind. A break, break free and a new beginning. Looks like springtime, like in your uh, birthday season here. What is the fool on your mind? There we go. Yeah, letting go. Strength reverse. I think there's a Pisces saying, you know what? Forget it. I mean, it's kind of like I just, I want my life now. This isn't worth it. It just isn't worth it. I mean, look at, is it worth it for her to keep holding on to something that's not even habitable? It's, and she has holding on so long, it's like, doesn't even know why she's holding on. And it's, it's become her. It's like the problem has now become this person. So it's very, it feels like where are the roses. I'm not gonna, I'm not lying. There's so many majors, Pisces. Eight of Pentacles reverse. I feel like whenever you watch this, it's gonna be a bang week. Eight of Pentacles reverse, reason for the reading. Virgo energy and the six of swords reverse six of swords reverse is unable to move on from something mentally because I feel like somebody feels like they're owed why the eight of pentacles reverse though and yep the world reverse and as long as we stay in this energy I feel like it's a no win this is a no win situation right now tower reverse in the past somebody let go temperance or I'm sorry the hierophant Six of Cups reverse and the death card. It's like somebody may have chose somebody else. Somebody jumped in another relationship and left the past behind. They just let go. And it hurt. I feel like it really hurt. And so that's probably where this all began. Ten of Cups in the near future, though. You, I feel like in the Ten of Cups reverse, you do get your happily ever after, Pisces, but it's acknowledging... And like I said, some of you, this is about you and some of you have already moved on and somebody just has been a, um, it's like a parasite on the ass of humanity, what you feel like, but 10 of cups reverse. It's like you finally get your rainbow in spite of dealing with something and for such difficult time. I mean, you get your happily ever after, but it's in spite of this energy, it's after this energy and after letting go. So you can move on with your life. Hermit reverse right next to it. Another big major here. Virgo energy. And the star reverse. Another big major. I'm telling you, this is a week of majors for somebody. Letting go after holding on. And realizing freedom is... It's, it's not that somebody loses by letting go. They actually find themselves. Holding on to the past or holding on to hope that somebody's actually going to do the right thing by you is only hurting the person holding on because this you're dealing with somebody who's not going to see it that way and I just feel like somebody's hurting themselves somebody's hurting themselves by holding themselves back high priestess reverse currently how you see yourself ready to say something and the king of sword I feel like it's enough is enough that's the king of swords reverse enough's enough and the three of swords reverse ready to lay the swords down five of wands nine of, nine of swords currently in your emotions and the four ready to let go i like that four of pentacles reverse almost feels like there might be a settlement here now is it what you may want probably not but it's to get it's kind of like you know what it feels like it's uh like debt collectors when they call and they haven't been paid for like 10 years and then they they'll, they'll take they'll take peanuts at that point just to get something it's not what they want but at least they're getting something to finally let this go something's ready someone's ready to take some type of settlement just to let this go i i can't say it enough there has been a lot of holding on there's been a lot of pain and a lot of struggle but there's happiness waiting. There's 10 of cups waiting on the other side of this, but it's only going to keep waiting until somebody realizes that they're only hurting themselves by holding on. And it's realizing that there's a forgiveness that needs to be had, like in this reading, forgiveness for the self, for attaching yourself and trusting maybe who you deem the wrong person, uh, forgiving the past. And it's just... I don't know. It's just like laying down the, the weapons and the swords because it, it, it's so much harder to hold on to anger. 
it's letting go of the anger and choosing love and to live again that and it's beautiful all right ten of wands six of cups reverse and the ten of pentacles reverse and the outcome and make it and here comes justice two of swords reverse it's a decision to be made and finally coming out of this in between why the ten of pentacles reverse and the knight of swords reverse cutting out the chaos I feel like somebody's just accepting something. There's the high priestess reverse and the five of wands. And some of you, there is a storyline here that you could be dealing with somebody that just, I feel like there's red flags in this reading. You have two high priestess reverse. That is a red flag card. And it's saying, hey, the red flags have been here that somebody is just making it harder than it needs to be, or somebody's not contacting me, or somebody's hiding things. I know something's up. And to get somebody to own up to their behavior is more time than it's worth. And I just feel like, I just feel like somebody's ready to walk free. I do feel like, I mean, in this reading, one way or another, I obviously, Pisces, this is your reading. And so I'm going to go on your side of it where I feel like you got the short end of the stick. But you're only shorting your stick longer by trying to get this person to fuss up. And you, you, you're ready for your 10 of cups. And you're ready for your Ten of Pentacles and you're ready for your world and your Wheel of Fortune and realizing that not everybody's going to do right by you in this world, even if they should. But it does feel like hurt feelings and people are using material things to justify, to keep it going when really a heartfelt apology and, and an explanation and to see somebody for their humanity is really the underlying issue going on here. And to say, hey, you really hurt me. I want you to know that. And, you know, it's, it, that's where the root of it is. And I just feel like somebody's saying, you know what? I don't need the why. I just need my new beginning. So, a lot, like I said, a lot of majors, a lot of fireworks going on this week. But I do feel like somebody's ready for the next st stage. They're done with this. All right. Have a great rest of your week. Although water signs, I will see you later on this week. This is still last week's period because I'm in the weeds, but have a good start to your week. I love you guys. Take care.